my doggy Dexter sitting with me. Um, I figured I would try something different because I'm always saying hello to you from my kitchen and I figured it would be more personal if I say hi to you while I'm sitting on my couch in my family room. So um, this week's recipe is a fried pork chop. It's absolutely delicious. It's easy to make. Um, it's not the healthiest of dinners, but it's not like you're going to eat it all the time. A bit. And um, my doggy wants to be in the video. So um, I'm going to do something different. I think that um, I'm going to allow people to send me messages on what my next video is going to be. So I was thinking of either doing a baking video or a cooking video. And my options would be chocolate chip cookies for the next video or Wendy's chili. If you guys have ever eaten fast food at Wendy's and ordered their chili, I can kind of do a replica that comes pretty close to the Wendy's chili. So we're going to fight between those. And I would like you guys to either comment on this video or send a message and whatever gets the most votes would be the next video. Um, I don't know if it's better doing it that way or just having a bunch of people make suggestions and I pick out the best one. So if there's anyone out there who specifically wants to uh, wants me to make a certain kind of video for something that they want to learn how to cook and if I know how to do it, I'll choose it so we can do that as well. Um, so this is about it. So my doggy loves attention and he loves when I pet him and my daughter's sleeping. So this is our time to kind of cuddle, you know, and show him some affection. So he usually, um, there, there he's about to get really comfortable right there. Right, Bob? So um, he's probably hearing me talk about food and, and stuff like that. And if I say key words like, mmm, you hungry? You see? <laughs> Are you hungry? He's probably like, look, he's leaving me. He just jumped out. <laughs> I have to give him something now. Anyway, so fried pork chops, Antonetta style. I hope you guys like it. It's an easy recipe. It's delicious. You're going to love it. Let me know if you like this new type of intro where it's more personal and not just in front of a kitchen. Um, if not, I'll just go back to my counter and I'll make my intro from there. Okay, thanks for watching. Let's go and cook some fried pork chops. You can use any cut of pork chops you want. Make sure that they're boneless and make sure that they're thin. Only because when you're frying pork chops, you don't want the outside to be so dark and crispy and the inside not be cooked, okay? So the best type of pork chop for frying is a thin cut. Any cut, but make sure that it's thin with no bone. So what I'm doing now is I'm seasoning my flour. I do this because that's what's actually going to season me. I put um, my pork chops in the egg mixture and then in the flour mixture, and all that is basically seasoning, so it, it adheres to the pork. Um, and since the pork is so thinly cut, um, Seasoning both the meat and the flour would be an extreme overkill. So I, in my particular seasoning for this recipe, I use cayenne pepper, um, paprika, garlic powder, onion powder, salt, and pepper. The cayenne pepper doesn't make it spicy, but it gives it a nice little kick. Okay, um, it's definitely wouldn't consider it spicy. You can leave it out. It's only a quarter teaspoon, so it doesn't do enough to burn your mouth or anything like that. It's, it's the perfect balance. So try it first before you move it. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to smell the flour and make sure that all my seasonings are proper. Sometimes I can tell and it wasn't in this case. So I'm going in and I'm adding in more. Um, again, as always, the proper ingredient amounts are in the description box. Okay. And, um, uh, I usually don't measure but now that I'm starting to make videos, I have to, because I have to give everyone the exact amounts. Right. So, um, what I'm going to do is now I've added in the extra that I thought was necessary. I'm just going to mix it up. Okay. And I'm pretty sure that it's um, good enough now. So what I'm going to do to prepare the pork chop is I cut the fat off the sides. I personally don't like biting into fried foods that have fat on the inside. I don't like it. If you don't mind it, you can leave it on. Um, taking the fat off doesn't compromise the quality of the pork because it's a thin cut and it gets cooked quickly. So you don't have to worry about it drying out because it's going to have that nice, um, juicy taste um, from being fried. So this is exactly how I do it. You just keep cutting the fat off of all of your pieces um, until you're done. So the next step that you do here now is obviously the coating. I do what I call a double dip. I'm sure everyone else calls it a double dip as well. 
and I go into the egg mixture and then I um, coat it real nice in the flour. It's a little bit of a messy job as you can see, or I'm just a messy cook when it comes to flour and things of that nature. So I use, a, I use this kind of um, method when I'm frying all types of food and um, I just change around the seasonings according to what I'm making, obviously. So uh, I've got it coated once, okay, and I just want to make sure it's covered um, in all sections of the meat. And I um, shake off the excess, put it in the egg, and then I bring it right back into the flour mixture and do it again. And I make sure that I am coating every um, piece of the meat. And um, double, double coating is very necessary because it's going to give it that nice crunchy texture. If you only do one, one coating of um, flour, you're not really going to get that nice um, fried feel to it. Okay, so what you're going to do is, while you're doing this, by the way, make sure you're heating up your oil at 365 for a deep fryer. If you're not using a deep fryer, you want to have your heat on about a medium to a medium high. Okay, and try to use a thermometer at 365. Um, uh, so you just continue doing that until all your pieces are coated. Okay, and then I'll show you frying them up in the pan. So I have my oil heated up um, to the proper temperature. Okay, and I'm going to gently place the pork chop into the oil and I'm going to allow them to cook, I don't know, I would say maybe about six to eight minutes. You'll know because if you have enough oil in there, they'll start floating up to the top as with anything that you fry. When it's done, it'll float up to the top. Um, I'm using a pan because I didn't feel like taking out my deep fryer just for a little bit of pork chops, okay? So I'm going to do this, flip them, and then after that, they're pretty much done. Um, very easy recipe. I told you I wasn't lying at all, okay? So I'm going to show you what they look like when they're done frying and plated. So here it is. That's exactly what it looks like. Fried pork chops. I have it with some rice pilaf and some asparagus and um, a country gravy that I had pre-packaged. I was lazy and I wanted something on top. It's actually pretty delicious and I didn't feel like making one from scratch. So I told you it's an easy recipe. You're going to love it. And um, when you try it, please give me feedback. Let me know if you liked it or not. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, do it now and share my videos and share this recipe with the people that you love. Okay. Thanks for watching as always. Bye. -bye.